I'm Brenda. I'm not artificial intelligence. I'm a real person with a really sexy voice. Listen to these game rules that each team must adhere to as they play director versus director. Game rules. All team members must be present during the orientation meeting. Game rules. The presentation should be at least eight minutes and no longer than 11 minutes. Game rules. Each team must have eight team members. At least five team members must be seen in the final presentation. Only seven team members can be in the StreamYard studio. Game rules. An accurate script must be generated for your presentation, which must be submitted 15 minutes before the half-hour technical rehearsal. It's a good time to tell you that I'm 5 foot 8, 120 pounds, a blonde Aries who loves a super hot bubble bath. Game rules. Each team member seen in the final presentation must wear a costume. Game rules. Three props disclosed at game day orientation must be featured prominently in the final presentation. Game rules. Please avoid profanity, nudity, and adult subject matter. Game rules. There must be a video component within the presentation. Game rules. There must be a green screen moment in the presentation. Game rules. There must be music and or singing in the presentation. Now, let the game begin. Director versus director. Team Mark Devine versus Team Jim Pickoff. Here is your host, National Treasure National Mark Bedard. I am National Treasure Mark Bedard, and this is Director versus Director. We're two competing teams of eight wildly talented artists led by two very special creators. have already met for three hours in the respective Zoom spheres to bring you presentations, one of which you, the audience, will deem the winner. That's a lot of power, and we're counting on you to get it right. So keep the voting page handy. Link will be in the chat section of this very video. Let's meet our director, shall we? Mark is a director and professor at the North Dakota State University. What do you teach there, Mark? Um, I teach theater. Theater. In general there, Mark, or anything in specific? No, I teach devising. I teach movement. I teach acting, stuff like that. I mean, are you a beloved professor or not so much? Uh, it depends. depends on I like mood that I'm loved. I like to think that I'm loved. That you're loved. Oh, so you are beloved, according to your own assessment. Good to know. Yeah. In this other box here, we have Jim Hickox, a director and a film professor at the University of Texas in Austin and at Austin Community College. Oh, Jim, you split your time. What's it like to shortchange two schools at the same time? Oh, it's great. I don't like to pay attention to any of my students. Good to know. Hopefully you pay more attention to your teams. Now, a question for you both. What was your motto, your mantra, if you will, for pulling together your perfect team? Do you want me to take that? Go ahead. Uh, I emailed the first seven people I thought of, uh, and naturally they all said yes to me, and they were my team. Mark, uh, was that your process similar, or did you find that to be a bunch of uh, hooey? Yeah, a little hooey. I, I think that uh, I was like, who's going to be fun to play with? Mm. So employing a strategy. I see. Finally, we're about to find out who's the better director in this process. But um, answer me this. Which one of you is the better professor? Mark? Yeah, me, definitely. Mm -hmm. Jim, would you agree with that assessment or? Uh, probably, yeah. Okay, so we're all in agreement. It's Mark. Let's see how the director thing goes out. Um, all right, directors, time to go backstage and get ready. <clears throat> now, for each challenge match, the directors are given a theme from which to build their presentation. This time, the theme is the abyss. Also, very important. The teams have to incorporate, in a significant way, three props into their presentation. The props this time are tissues, Tonka truck, and salt. Now, let's get on to our presentations. First up is Team Mark Devine. As an introduction to their creation, all the team members made video selfies during the three-hour creation process. So let's take a look at this team's video journal montage. I really wish I had cleaned my room before we started this. I 
don't own a f***ing Tonka truck. At all. Not even a little bit. Graham. Charlotte. Oh my god. Aren't there kids in this house? Yo! Dudes! I need a truck. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Right off my crop table. Eat that egg. Do we have a Tonka truck? When you can't find a Tonka trunk in your apartment, you draw one. Truck acquired. Salt acquired. More salt acquired. Tissues acquired. Complete. What is true in the first breath is not true by the second. Living in fear. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. hungry. I'm hungry. So tired. Control is an illusion. Human interdependency. Human, Human interdependency. Why did I come in this room again? What strips you down? Is it true? Have I failed? What waits on the other side? What do I do next? How now? How, How now? now? The mechanics of time. Leaping without a landing. Never again. Something new? The next best thing. Stop. Stop. Be still. Tripping through the hallways, stumbling down the ridges of my ribs. It's music, but atonal. <sighs> Viscera pounding, pulsing, spilling. My fingers are wet. I'm lost in the hidden passages of my own body, my own house. This year, this place, I can't find my way. Tripping through the Tripping hallways, through the stumbling, hallways down stumbling down the ridges, down the ridges of, my ribs. of my ribs. It's music, it's music, but atonal. But atonal. <laughs> this are pounding, this are pounding, pulsing, spilling. spilling. My fingers, my are, fingers wet. are wet. I am lost. I am lost in the hidden passages, in the hidden of, passages my of my own body. My own my own house this year this, this year place, this place i can't find, I can't my, find way. my way i woke from that dream again wanting my toy truck made of cracked steel and yellow rust. Where is my truck? Room. Childhood sounds a bit like this, made of old sand and perpetual action. Tonka. Some words sound wrong. This word sounds right.
Where is that truck? I remember, I think, the moment my sister gave it to that lanky kid down the street with a dirty shirt and the raccoon eyes. It's not a Tonka truck, she screamed at me as I ran after the kid down the street. Or maybe that was the dream. And the truck just got lost in the abyss of that closet that I have not stepped inside for a decade. Where is that old closet? Did my sister give that away too? The closet? Or maybe the truck and the closet are tangled up in the same wrinkled fabric of that old dream. Maybe? That's not a Tonka truck. That's a piece of paper. That's not a Tonka truck. That, that's a piece of paper. Netflix party. That, that's not a party. That's an app. Bringing home takeout isn't going to a restaurant. Watching Hamilton on Disney Plus, that's not going to the theater. That's watching the TV. Skyping isn't holding someone. Skyping isn't hugging someone, isn't kissing someone, or, or, or just physically comforting someone. Zoom? Zoom theater? It, it isn't theater. This isn't theater. Wait. This isn't theater? I have missed the heat, the music, and the reality of you. I'm not sorry. We're okay. We're okay. We made it. Te extraño, papi. Stop. Stop. Be still. We're okay. We're okay. I'm first, still hungry. <laughs> the first breath. Be still. What's true in the first breath is not true by the second.
We're sorry. You have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. If you feel you have reached this recording in error, please check the number and try your call again. Hey! Look at what you did. Wow. Yeah. How do you think it went? Pretty good. Pretty good. We had a couple things that, like, you know, just hiccups, but otherwise, overall, yeah, it was good. Other than a few hiccups, perfectly the way you wanted it to go, huh? Pretty close. Yeah, thank you, Mark. Okay, go backstage and wait for the results. Okay. We've asked a theater professional, Kristen Lee Kelly, to join us to assess how well Team Mark Devine followed the rules of the game. Let's bring Kristen Lee Kelly on here, shall we? Kristen, thank you for joining us. Hello. Can you hear me? I can. Can you hear me? I can, can you hear me? I am a theater professional, I know how to speak. Yes, thank you, that is why we brought you for your expertise. You're now, welcome. How well do you think um, Team Mark Devine followed the rules of the game? I have one word to say. Devine is right. Devine is right. However, I have some uh, notes for Mr. Devine. Um, first off, costume, costume, costumes. I want more costumes. I like the hot dog. It's not enough. I enjoyed the dream, uh, the dream bathrobe. The dream bathrobe was everything. Indeed. Um, creativity off the mark. It's fabulous. However, I felt that there was something lacking in the collaboration. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. Did you hear that? I felt that it was one man's vision as opposed to maybe everyone's vision. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, I believe, yes. Collaboration is part of the rules of the game. They must collaborate on this piece together. They must collaborate. Although I did see... I saw all of the props that were used, most important. I must say, it had a dark charm, a dark charm. It had a Dali-esque kind of take on uh, the matter of existence. The hot dog is a cannibal. Yes, you saw that as well, I noticed that as well. Serving. And how well did you feel this fit in with the theme of the abyss? I felt they, they captured that. It was a dreamscape. So I, uh, I, feel, I feel like they went down, they went down the road, a montage road, the upside doll, slightly exorcist. But I felt, I felt the group as a whole could have come together better in cohesion. But the creativity was divine, Mark. It was divine. And you hit all the beats. I'm impressed. Wonderful. I'm impressed. Wonderful. Thank you, Chris and Lee Kelly. Will you stick around and give us another analysis after the next presentation? You'd like to have me back. I would indeed. We can't, we can't go without it. I look forward to it. All right. To introduce Tim Jim Hickox's presentation, let's take a look at their video journal montage. My eyebrow work. <laughs> Just sat down on the side of my bed and told me a story.
It's story time. Take a look at this book we got from the library. <laughs> Guppy's new bike. You love the Guppy books. One day, Guppy decided that walking wasn't fast enough. And so they decided to get a new bike. Funny that the only way to get to the bike store is to walk, said Guppy cheerily. Before long, Guppy got lost in the great woods. They looked around, past the big old trees, through the wooded glades, but they couldn't find any sign of the bike store, not even any commerce at all. Do you want to do garrison? Sure. Then Guppy met. Well, hello there. Said Garrison the gorilla. How can I help you, little Guppy? I'm looking for the bicycle store. Well, I don't think I know where that is. Garrison mused. But I do know this. As long as you keep your eyes facing forward, you'll always see where you're headed. <sighs> Guppy kept walking along, and now they could even see where they were headed. But they still couldn't see the bike store. But they did see coming up ahead of them, Bertram the bear. Hi there, Bertram. Oh, hi, Guppy. What's all that salt for? I lost my best ideas in this salt and I just can't find them. Mark, this book is terrible. No, it's so cute. The bear is holding salt. Bears don't walk around with salt. He lost his ideas. Who cares? Guppy does. Here. I care so much about your ideas. Let me help you find them. Thank you so much for caring about me and the story. I really appreciate your help. If you can maybe look through this salt or something. You got it. And Guppy headed off into the forest. See? It's cute. Guppy walked forward, keeping their eyes on the road and their thoughts in the salt until they came upon Bellamore Bunny. Who was a little mean. He's not mean. Oh no, he's definitely mean. And he has an attitude. What of it? Well, goodness, <laughs> Bellamore, you are rude. Yeah, and I'll cut you besides. See, now there's a conflict. I don't know, this seems like too much for a kid's book. I know, said Guppy, and they pulled their eyeball hat down over their face and made scary hands. They scared the terrible rabbit that your mother made up away. What? Guppy runs straight into a terrifying kitchen. Where a, a boy scout is working on a badge. A cooking badge. But he can't stop sneezing. But Guppy knows what to do. The Boy Scout sneezes so hard it knocks Guppy over. Poof. But Guppy gets back up because they're really tough and, and... I know, they said. You're sneezing because you're working with all of these spices and pepper makes you sneeze, and the opposite of pepper is salt. Thank you so much, said the Boy Scout. No. What? This book is stupid. Where's the bike? Guppy has to adventure first. There's no danger, no darkness. I just think that the Ark is pretty weak, 
and the structure seems sloppy. It feels like it was just written in less than three hours. Um, hey, can we like get through this? I, I kind of want to get to the bike part. It's like, bike. we need to finish the adventure first. Yeah, th look, this is really just like a like a book to get kids to be sleepy. No, it has adventure and great morals. Hmm. Really. <clears throat> Close your eyes, don't make a sound. Listen well to this keening. When you hear it, you will know into what state you are leaning. Do not fight, let yourself go. Just succumb to your dreaming. Let all thoughts of hard work and strife give over to thrashing and screaming. Enter now this vast abyss. Don't worry, you won't stub your toe. The emptiness will hold you close and never, ever, ever let you go. Now you're safe, no need to fret, no reason to worry or moan. The crushing void will hold you, my child, for now you're forever alone. <laughs> Jim, hey, you Hello. kidding, right? No, not at all. How did it go? Uh, pretty good. I was a little surprised because that's not uh, the play we wrote, but I liked what they, they just improvised that whole thing, and I was pretty impressed. Wow. Yeah. In a direct violation of the rules there, not well, having a script. Well, yeah. sometimes you just got to go for broke, I guess. We, huh? we had a script. It just had different words I and see. characters. Nice little work around there. You provide a script, then do what you want. Yeah. All right, Jim. Good to hear. All right. Go backstage, and we'll talk to our theater professional, Kristen Lee Kelly. He's back to assess how well Team Jickhox, Jim Hickox followed the rules of the game. Uh, Kristen, thanks for coming back and talking Good to, to us about here. It's good to be here. I was moved. I was moved by this colorful journey. I do have problems that this script was not uh, followed to the rules mm -hmm. however there was a sense of frivolity that i enjoyed immensely a child and a happy gorilla will always move me do you agree do you agree national treasure i do i do <laughs> and uh, he had a joseph uh Campbellian, Joseph Campbell. You know who he is, right? Yes, indeed. Never mind. Never mind. Google it. He <laughs> talked about the hero's journey and this search for this bicycle. This bicycle was like going into the forest to, to find yourself. It wasn't a bicycle they were looking for. It was themselves. So I think that was good. It was a colorful abyss. It was a, a positive abyss. However, um, I have a feeling that there was a little bit of 
commentary going for a meta aspect on the actual competition itself, which I felt was a little, it took me out of the world. Whoosh, I was in the world, and then I'm not in the world anymore. Took me out. Stick to the rules. Hmm? Costumes, fabulous. I have to say, I am incredibly impressed with both Mark and Jim. It's obvious why they are teaching at such elevated institutions. Great work. Bravo. Thank you, Kristen Lee Kelly, for your assessment of the rules. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Always wonderful to have you. All right. Let's bring uh, both of our directors back into the room here. Jim, and we have Mark. Mark, after seeing Jim's presentation, are you still confident of win? I yeah, I think Emily is upstaged by a baby. I mean, there that's what they do. You put animals, and little kids on stage, and upstage. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, Mark's claiming Jim that you uh, maybe maybe pulled a dirty trick by using a kid there. I'm kidding? not going to say I don't fight dirty because that would be a lie. All right, so we're learning a lot tonight. Change the script, adding children in, anything for the win. Is that right, Jim? Yeah. I mean, I would I would say you'd be hard-pressed to say that Lil Theo was not the best actor of the evening. Can't argue with that. Now, you both did great. So while you two uh, wait for the results, let's pop in on next week's competing directors. Huh? This is a commercial. In five, four, three, two, one. Hit it. Well, you can see here from the banner down below, it says, Mark, make something up, stall. Wow. I was hoping a moment like this. In fact, I anticipated a moment like this would happen, which is why I asked for the banner. This is a great time to talk about how I became national treasure, Mark Bedard. It all started with a little show. I think I could lead my own team, Lauren, sure, uh, because of what I've learned from you. Really? Playing director versus director. I think it's gonna be a real hoot to play with you, against you, crush you. Really? Oh. Well, okay, well, I am the reigning champion of director oh, versus- oh, You left me! You quit the team! You, you were gonna fire me to bring in a bunch of John Tartaglia puppets! I would never bring in John Tartaglia! Lord. And he should be his own director! I would very much like to work with John Tartaglia! Oh, hi! <laughs> I like him so much! I work primarily in subtlety and nuance. My team is better, and your team My is team is best! You're not the only one not wearing makeup today. <laughs> oh, Ben. This spot brought to you by John Tartaglia, Puppet Emporium. Puppet, say the darndest things. And that's how I became a national treasure. So, vote now. Now is the time to vote. You'll find the link uh, to the Director versus Director voting site in this live stream's chat. Vote for the team that best exemplified the four C's, and who also showed the most respect and reverence for the game rules. Vote now. And while you vote, I'll turn it over to Lydia, who will explain to us what these four C's are all about. As you decide on which team will be the winner of this director versus director challenge, <gasps> Please consider the four C's. Collaboration. Did it seem to you that the team collaborated as a whole, with each of the team's artists contributing to the challenge and playing together harmoniously? If you're watching this. Cohesion. Was the presentation a complete expression, a performance piece tied up in a bow that successfully reflects a singular vision? Creativity. Is this a significantly unique creation that you just haven't seen before, impressing you with its spirit of ingenuity? And finally, the C factor, charm. More than merely amusing you, does the presentation continue, even now, to delight you with the thought of it and to tickle your elusive fancy. Now you vote. Vote now. <laughs> One, two, three. While I'm singing, please go ahead and vote for your favorite team. Direct. Versus director in three hours. Road rehearsed and shook a tail and ha. Wow. 
Vote for the team with the very best C-score. One team wins and the other's a loser. It's up to you. Go cast that vote right now. The money note. Right now. <coughs> <coughs> I broke one of my heels while I was filming this. Would you like to hear anything else? I've got a great 32 bars. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> well, you know where to find me. Ta-ta. Wow, 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 wow. That was our special musical guest, Millie Grams, everyone. Millie Grams! Millie Grams. <laughs> Before we announce the winner, I need to tell you that the winner of this match will go on to the semifinals of our Director versus Director tournament. Sam and Mark, you've both led your teams in very exciting ways and created two great pieces. But there can be only one winner. Let's get the results. The winner of this director versus director live stream competition is Team Mark Divine. Way to take a note. <laughs> <laughs>